Hey guys, ZeroX here, and today we're going to be using MindFlayer and JavaScript to create a bot that can connect to a local Minecraft server. You're going to want to start off by importing the MindFlayer API, and then we're going to set up comments so that other people reading the code can properly understand it. And then we're going to initialize the bot by using MindFlayer.createBot. Now we need to pass it a few arguments. The first argument we're going to pass it is host. This determines which server we actually want the bot to connect to. Since we're connecting to a local server, we're going to set it as a local host. Next up, we have to provide it a port. I'm going to show you guys how to get the port in a second, but for now you can just put any filler number. Next up, we need to give the bot a username. And lastly, we need to set a version that we want the bot to connect with. Now I'm going to show you guys how to get the port for your local server so that you can input it and start up your bot. All right, and now that I've opened up my Minecraft client, I'm going to ensure that the version I have listed in my MindFlyer script is the same as my Minecraft version. In this case, we're going to be using 1.8.9. Now that I've opened my single player world, we need to start a local server. We're going to start by pressing escape, going to open to LAN. We're going to want to enable cheats and press start LAN world. In the chat here, you're going to see a port number. Now we're going to go back to our Minecraft script and change the port number to the one indicated in the Minecraft world. In this case, it's 55615. Now that we've changed the port number, it's important that we save the file. In most IDEs, you can do this by holding Ctrl and pressing S. Now that we've saved our file, we can go down into the terminal and run the bot using Node. We're going to do this by typing Node, leaving a space, and then inputting the name of the file. In this case, our file name is simple dash bot.js. Once we run it, we're going to look into our client to see if our bot connected properly. As you can see in our local server, our bot successfully connected. Thank you very much for watching, and if you would like direct access to this code, you can go down into the video description, click on the GitHub link, and you will see this exact file. Don't forget to leave a like on the video if you found it helpful, and make sure you subscribe for future videos.